time to celebrate, Dick. Making it to the Final Four means you have two games left. Only one team will make it to the championship after tonight's game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Duke Blue Devils. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Blue Devils should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. Number one, don't let the other team dictate the tempo or the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Second, don't let them get too many open looks from beyond the three-point line. And finally, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. That's a foul. Oh, and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. The Blue Devils are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Hits that one. Hits two at the charity strike. Gave it up. The point guard gets the pass. He fires it up. Way off target. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dump it inside. The center takes the feed. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. In and out. Trying to feed inside. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. He looks at the hoop. From the top of the circle, he gets the bucket. Looking for a good shot. And we've got a whistle and a foul. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The point guard takes the pass. From right at the circle, he hits it. Feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important than how talented blocks up there. Yeah, that helps. They look to get it to the inside. He fakes the shot. Double team now. Bad angle. Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. They get out on the break. Jumps in. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Put a little puff right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Dumps it in. Puts it on 
the floor and up and under. I tell you, really a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Trying to go inside. Tries for two and off the mark. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The center with the ball gets the rejection. Poor job on the offensive end. Great job defensively rotating to the basketball. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. For two, Duke have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Let's face it. With the fake. He shoots from left of the circle. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The defender is still applying great ball pressure. With the block. He's open if he wants the shot. Top of the circle, way off target. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Three off the rim and no good. The point guard gets the ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Oh, yes. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad. with a double team to stop it. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Looking for a good shot. He dials long distance. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line. He gets it to go. Free throws go. Oh, big time screen set on the defender. Trying to draw some contact. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. The shot won't fall. Here's a double team. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. Working around the perimeter. 
He tries to knock down the three. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Now they work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Meeks in the paint. The ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Great anticipation defensively. For two, can't get the shot to go. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Number 50 makes the shot. There's a double team waiting there. He's got some room. On the outside, got some room. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick down on the sidelines. The losing team is starting to get a bit anxious. Their coaches can sense that, and they're telling their team to just relax. Could it be the bright lights that has this team second-guessing so far tonight, Brad? And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They've got a player spotting up on the three. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. No good from the field. Gave it up. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it there. Oh, I tell you what, thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. On the dribble. Gives it up. Intercepted. When you're one of the top-ranked teams, you've got to bring your best every night. Teams are always looking to knock you off. You've got that right, Brad. When you're a good team, everybody wants a piece of you. Dump it inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 32 set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Both teams looking to get things going here. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. They work it around the perimeter. can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the free throw line. First shot is good. 
They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He misses a second shot. Pulls it down. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gave it up. Shoots from outside. He's not even looking for the open man dip. They might need a quick T.O., baby. He launches the bomb way off target. They're working around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Good fake. Double team now, bad angle. Tries for two. In and out. Kicks it out. Got a wide open look. Nice shot. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Buried it. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. Looking for contact. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Way off target. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time. And one, baby. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Oh, oh Mr. Nussler, that's a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Defense giving some room. Got a man in high post. He shoots from the angle. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if we can convert. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Makes the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Got them a nylon, MBN. is feeling great right now. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. 
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. Set that screen away. Great play to take that to basket. Hey, Brown, he's not here. We'll definitely raise the decimal level. A frustration right there. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. Sinks the shot. Stolen away. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped them. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. Turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little version of up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Boy, terrible execution on offense. For two, perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. Up it inside. Tries a three. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. it up looking for contact North Carolina they have a nice little run going here can they keep it up though no one's proven otherwise just yet Brad gave it up here's a nice face up down in the low block oh he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket and he scores despite the hat Dribble gives it up. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Way off target. Picks off the lazy pass. Look at that spacing. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He intercepts it. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Transition opportunity coming up. Makes it. 
Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Here's one more look at it. Spacing to the top of the circle. He's money with a shot. Shot clock is dead. He tries the three ball off the rim and no good. He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. He comes up empty. At the half, the Blue Devils are ahead by five. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Duke is killing the opposition on the glass in the first half. Hey, these kids know what it takes to win big games, Brad. If you can win the rebound and battle on any given night, you have a great shot of winning the ball game. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. For two. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. They work it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. moves not going to work against the defense like that I tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin picked out of the air they're going to move it around the perimeter from beyond the arc Duke are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Time to pick up the defense here now. He shoots from left of the circle. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. From three-point land, he hits it. Oh, 
almost lost a basketball. Tries for two. Can't get. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. He shows the sweet touch. There they come with a double team to stop it. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. On the outside. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. You betcha. That's worth another one. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And the ball goes out of bounds. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. On the inside. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Nice high post screen. Way off target. The point guard handles the feed. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. For the bucket. He couldn't get it to fall. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Moving it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Garrison receives the ball. Gave it up. Fake. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul there. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket, North Carolina are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Shooter spotting up on a three. 
He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. Brad, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Takes the pass in the paint. Up, easy one. The Tar Heels are down by four. The power forward handles the pass. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. In the paint. Defensively trying to stay with his man and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside and they attack him aggressively. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted to see, a close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here, guys. Everyone wants to see a great finish. All right, thanks, Aaron. There's the fake. He puts up the three ball. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Shoots. He gets it to go. The Tar Heels are trailing by six. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to split. Great anticipation for the rejection. Jumped in front to take it away. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Second one is no good. Try to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The shooting guard receives the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. The Tar Heels. Composure is falling even as we speak, Dick. They've been shooting themselves in the foot. They better get their emotions in check. Nice fake. Got the high pick. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Doesn't go. pass in the paint that one there should have been a foul call I think well you take a look right there I thought there was contact right on the defensive player he unloads a three he gets that one to fall I need to see that again Brad He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the inside. Here's a double team. Goes up for two. In and out.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post flashes opportunity. Got it in the low block. And his shot rejected. And the ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Here's a flash from the high post. For two. Perfectly executed. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. He's got a high post flasher. Picked off. Goes up for two. He drains the shot. That's a 7-0 run. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He lets it fly. Rims out. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. Tries for two. Can't put it down. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Double team now, bad angle. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Well, offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Strips the ball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. He looks for three. Scorches the net. Picks off the lazy pass. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Blocks the shot. Perfectly executed. Here's another look at the play. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. They're working around the perimeter. He squares up down on the low block. 
I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in trouble from position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Gave it up. Steals the pass. The fake. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Fakes it. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. They'll work it around the arc. He blocks the shot. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dribble gives it up. He beats him to the punch to and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brown, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Great defense. Gave it up. Backcourt violation call. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He throws it up from downtown. Sinks the shot. Think right now, got to focus defensively. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance to really to win. perimeter he throws up the shot oh yes we got a timeout on the floor and with that let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews well guys I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end of game strategy now often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end of game strategy now's the time when that practice will pay off guys all right thanks Aaron Let's get back to the action. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. He shoots from long range. He nails the bucket. him first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us
Pump fakes. He draws a foul. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. He attempts the trifecta. They let him get into a red ball. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I tell you, there was a lot of time, Brad. to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. Three-pointer. Off the mark. Shot clock is dead. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. There's the turnover situation for the half, Dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Second one, good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. On the outside. On the outside. Foul them early and give your team a chance. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. With the free one. Gets it. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes his second shot. Got to get one on this possession, baby. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. He launches the bomb. It's no good. Pushes it up. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Tar Heels completes a five-game winning streak with a big, big win today. I'll tell you one thing, the coach doesn't want five, baby. He wants the Super Six because the six means the national championship, and they're ready to win number six and win the NCAA championship. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.